let me show you how to make better thumbnails thumbnails people will actually click on by using just your phone. And I'm gonna be using two apps that are totally free. My name is Trina, if you are brand new here, I'm a YouTube strategist and this channel is for content creators, online business owners, and entrepreneurs who are wanting to grow their business without burning out. So to have a great YouTube video, you need to get people to click on it and it's all about the thumbnail. So I'm gonna show you my entire process for how I create thumbnails for my channel using just my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I record my screen so that you guys can see actually what I'm doing on my screen. And then the two apps I will be using throughout this tutorial is Lightroom, which you can use for free on mobile and also Canva. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get a picture for my thumbnail. Now I am taking this video with this angle, but I wanna get my thumbnail with the blue background because the blue background really makes my skin tone pop. So I'm gonna turn my chair around and grab a couple photos and I will show you those photos that I took for my thumbnail. Okay, so you can see the different photos that I took for my thumbnail. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put a preset on that. So what that means is when I add this photo to Lightroom, I already have a filter selected, so to speak. I bought my presets from Katherine Manning over at the Content Bug, but there are so many Lightroom presets that you could purchase at a very great price. And the reason why I bought presets is because, first of all, I don't like editing my photos. So if I can streamline that and get a shortcut, 100% all me. The second thing is because it creates consistency consistency with my photos. So if you look at all my thumbnails recently as we painted this office, you'll see they all have a similar lighting and a similar look. That's because I started using the presets then too. What I will do is I'm going to go into Lightroom. You can see here all the presets that I've been using so it creates that consistent look on my photos. I'm gonna add, then pick the photo that I wanna use for my thumbnail. Let's go with this one. And then we're going to go to the preset. I'm gonna pick the one that I use all the time. I'm gonna hit the check mark. Now I do still need to do a little bit of tweaking to this because you can see it is very bright and it just needs a little bit of tweaking. So one of the first things I do is I go to light and I'm gonna pull down the exposure just a little bit. I'm also gonna go over to color and see if I can pull down the vibrance just a little bit to pull out that orange. The next thing that I wanna do is make my face look a little smoother. If you follow me on Instagram over at Trina underscore little, you know that I'm currently dealing with trying to manage my rosacea right now. So one thing that I will do is go into effects and I will go to clarity and just kinda tone that clarity down. You can see how it kind of smooths out your face. So if you have any you know, zits or any like skin condition, you can use that clarity to kind of smooth your skin out a bit. You can also take the texture down a bit as well because it continues to give you that airbrush look on your face. One thing that I'm also trying to tweak because I usually use my camera to take these and for this I use my phone to show you how you can do this because I've done it before. So the lighting is off a little bit. I'm going to just make a couple more tweaks. I'm gonna turn the sharpening down just a bit. And then you can also use smoothness as well to kind of smooth out your skin. And hit the arrow up and I'm gonna export it to my camera roll. Now we're gonna add it into Canva. So again, Canva is a free app. They do have paid for options, but what I'm showing you here today, you can use the free version. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here, search, I'm gonna search YouTube thumbnail. You could totally take any of these as a template and get started there. I'm gonna go ahead and do blank. I'm gonna let it access my photos. I'm gonna go to uploads, upload media, cause I need to upload that photo. So if we go to photo library, grab the one that I exported. So now we're back here at your blank template. The first thing I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do plus and I'm gonna add an upload, which is this photo. So once it's on here, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this out so that it fits the entire thumbnail template here. And you see it's gonna take a little bit of moving to do, so we're gonna go ahead and move that up so that you can see the majority of my face right there. The next thing I'm gonna do is now I want to add probably a block in the background to make my text pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and do elements. I'm gonna grab a shape. I'm gonna change the shape's color to black. I'm gonna make that just a little bit smaller. Move it right here. Then I think for the text, which I've already determined, I was gonna put thumbnails on your phone. I'm gonna go back to add, I'm gonna add text. I'm gonna pick my text for my brand. I'm gonna go ahead and type this in. So I'm gonna highlight the text thumbnail, hit this arrow button to change the text. I'm gonna make it white. I'm gonna move it up here. And then I wanna add a drop shadow. So I went over here to effects, I'm gonna add a shadow. I'm gonna slide over here because I want the shadow to be my pink color, my coral color. And then 
I'm gonna come back here and zoom this in a bit so I can see it better. I think that looks good. Now the next thing that I need to do is up the font size. So now what I need to do is get that in the middle. Perfect. All right, so I got all the text position, how I like it. Now I wanna add just a little bit extra to make it stand out. So I'm gonna try to find a phone emoji or a phone icon. The way you do that is you come back in here to plus and then you're gonna go to elements and you're gonna look at cell phone. So I really like this one. I won't have to do much editing to this. All right, then you can see that we have the thumbnail already done. The next thing you're gonna do is hit this export arrow and you'll want to save as an image. And it's gonna save it to your camera roll. If you go into YouTube Studio, well, let's say you have a video to upload and you go to edit, you can go directly into your camera roll and change your thumbnail. Now I also just released a video on how to create your YouTube channel banner in Canva as well for free. It's on your screen right now. Click on that video to see how you could do this for your channel banner as well. Thank you so much for watching and let me know below, did you just create a thumbnail in Canva too?